An open box is to be constructed by cutting out square corners of X inch sides from a piece of cardboard that is eight inches by eight inches and then folding up the sides. Express the volume of the box as a function of X. Okay, so first of all, we start with a, and this is kind of a cool little, you know, experiment you could do at home. Start with a cardboard piece of, you know, whatever, uh, cardboard, thin, thick, whatever, and create an open box out of it. Now, how would you do it? Well, you know you gotta, you gotta take this two-dimensional structure and try to create a three-dimensional structure out of it, right? So what we gotta do is somehow we have to fold up some of the sides. Now, how do we do that? Well, we do that by actually cutting out square boxes, okay, in each of the four corners, all right? So watch, take a look. So basically what we would do is we would cut out this particular part of the cardboard box, okay? We would cut these pieces on out, all right? So pretend that they're not there. Now I'm going to leave, instead of leaving a blank, I'm going to leave in that little red box there uh, to help illustrate some points, okay? So remember that the overall, you know, height of this box, whatever you want to call it, or this, it's really not a box yet. It's a square. We haven't turned it into a three-dimensional box. Uh, but just keep in mind that this height here, or this length, whatever you want to call it, is going to be eight inches overall. That's of the cardboard. And then the same thing for this, right? The length is overall eight inches. Now, what we're doing is we're cutting out a square section on each of the corners, all right, that has a length of x inches. Now don't be afraid with the variable, don't worry about it. What you gotta do is you gotta plug in now uh, just your variable in the picture. So I want you to write an x here and an x here because that's the length. We don't know what it is, but it's some unknown value. Now you can imagine, right, if x were equal to one inch, right, what would be now the length of this black, oops, what would be the length of this black line right here? You'd probably say six, right? Because it's eight inches in total, and if it's one inch cut out from there and one inch cut out from there, then it would be six inches overall. Hopefully that's why I said six, but it's six, all right? So that should kind of make sense. And the same thing over here, right? If this red or over here, it doesn't matter because it's a square. If this, uh, the black length right now would be a total of six inches because you had to subtract one inch, right, from each side. Now, we I don't know that X is one. I'm just making a hypothetical. But now, what I want you to think is, how would you create now a box, a three-dimensional box, out of this? Out of this cardboard that you got. How would you do it? Well, you could imagine that you'd start to maybe fold. Right? You would start to fold the box at these particular creases. Right? And if you were to start to fold the box at those creases, this side basically gets flipped up. Right? And this side kind of gets flipped up, etc. So you can start to see how a box might be created out of this. Right Now what will happen is you're basically going to create a nice, it might be, I mean, it depends on the, it depends on the size of the, uh, uh, you know, it depends on the size of the cutouts you make here. But let's pretend that we have something that looks kind of like this. Okay, I'm going to create a nice little box. Boom, boom. And boom. Okay. And you might say, wow, that's a terrible box. It's not even straight. I agree. It looks pretty sad. And maybe that should be down here. Maybe this should be over here. And maybe this should be over here. And then maybe this should be in here. It's starting to look a little better. Ah, yeah, there you go. What do you think? All right. So let's pretend the box looks like this. Okay. Now, my question to you is this. This little dashed line, where is that in the picture? Well, remember the top is open. It's an open box. It's not a closed box. They said it's open. Okay. So that's what I was trying to show with the white here, but then there was no white there. But what are you going to do? All right. The dash line there is going to be represented here. Now, what's the length of this dash line? Well, it's the same as this dashed line, right? It's the same as that dashed line. And that could be written now as a function, basically, of the overall length of let's say eight inches minus now two of whatever those X values are, right? It could be eight minus now two X. Similarly, when you folded the box, the other side, right? That other dash line there was the same thing. It's gonna be eight, change the color, eight minus then two X. Okay, great. 
Now the critical question is, well, okay, I got to figure out the volume of the box, remember. I got to figure out the volume, so I got a length, I got a width, and but I need now a height. So how much do you think this side is folded up by? What do you think in the picture? Right, imagine. Well, it's folded up by a value of x, right? It's folded up by this height. So that's what this height will be. It'll be x. So in other words now, when you want to find now the volume of this box, we now know that the formula is volume is equal to length times width times height. And the length now is going to be 8 minus 2x. The width was 8 minus 2x. And then the height was just x. So this is your formula. This is it. Bada bing, bada boom. All done. All right. Now you can fact, you know, you can foil this. You can do whatever you want. But it will, it will basically be a, a, a cubic function. All right, but you don't have to worry about that. In any case, that's the value. Now, who cares what x is, right? x can be anything, call it one, and you'd be able to find the volume of the box, right? If x were one in here, then it's always eight minus two, right? That would be six, six, and then one. That would be a total, the volume would then be a total of 36, what was it, inches uh, cubed, okay? Then you can just think about it. Does that kind of make sense? Well, sure, this would have been six, right? This would have been a six, this would have been a six, and then this height would have been one. Okay, so hopefully that kind of makes sense, but that's how you go about it. So guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. And when you do problems like this, especially word problems, visualize it. Try not to just like memorize, how do I do this mathematically? You gotta visualize it. I promise if you visualize it and actually perform this experiment yourself. If, if you're having trouble seeing how this thing, when you fold it in the creases and you cut out the box, creates a three-dimensional box. Do it, right? Get a, you don't even need a scissor. Just take a piece of paper, right? Take a piece of paper, start tearing out the corners, okay? Make them as equally as, uh, equal as you can and create the box, all right? That way you'll be like, oh, now I see how it works, okay? Give it a go. Thanks for tuning in. Check out our channel. We've got thousands of videos, all right? Not only math, but chemistry and physics as well. We'll see you soon.